Good morning, which is something I can say for two more minutes. It's two minutes to midday. <gasps> that could be like a follow-up song for Iron Maiden. Um, I'm not doing much today. I got up, I set my alarm for 9.30. I got, I woke up at 9.30, I turned off my alarm and then I fell back to sleep. Um, so that was fun. My plan was to get up this morning and go to Michael Guinness to go buy some fabric. Pfft, not happening now. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to go down tomorrow or Thursday. That I have to. I'm gonna go down and have my lunch. I don't know what I'm gonna have because the electricity is about to be knocked off because our meter is being swapped over to a smart meter. In theory, it's a great thing, right? So it's a smart meter. The electric company can read it live remotely and all that stuff and I think they have an app and you can go in and you can watch your usage but in reality it actually means that a person is out of a job because the person that used to come around and read the meter will no longer be coming around to read the meter. I am just on my last break from work so I brought Eileen downstairs well I didn't bring her downstairs I opened the door and kind of rattled some treats to get her to follow me downstairs but she's downstairs now and i gave ruby her medicine and i have about five minutes until i'm due back i was thinking of investing in an under desk walking pad so basically what it is is it's like a lighter version of a treadmill you don't run on it and um, you just put it under your desk and you can walk on it while you're working and stuff now they do recommend that you use them with stand-up desks um, I can't really convert my desk because of the monitors but I could definitely put my keyboard up on something high and my mouse if I needed to do anything while I was standing up but I was just thinking it would be handy because like you know I could do it while I'm sitting at my desk instead of sitting at my desk I should say I could do it when it's kind of quiet and be just walking away and stuff like that so I'm looking at them there but I saw one that was about 200 euro um, and then I saw another one that was 230. And that one came with a fold away handle. So I'm gonna get out my laptop, I think, after work and have an actual proper look at them. Uh, I was just looking at them quickly on my phone. Hi everybody. It is Wednesday. I'm just getting ready for work. In fact, I went down and I cleaned out Eddie's litter tray. I brought the bag, because I put it into the doggy bag, the poopy bags that you get. And I threw that in the bin, and I came back up. She was in the tray, going again. Well, I'm not cleaning it again. Not today, Satan, not today. You know what I did this morning? I went down to the sunroom, and I watched the storm. It was really raining, and then the rain kind of subsided, and it was just really windy. And Eileen was sitting on the window, watching all the leaves swirling around the back garden and in the grass out the front, so. She's enjoying watching it and I'm enjoying watching it. There's just something about winter that I love. I mean, I don't like going out in the rain, but I just, inside you look out and it's cold out and you're all cozy and warm. Whereas in summer you, you're hot and then you look out and it's still hot and you just can't cool down. So I mean, I think it's easier to warm up than cool down. This has always been my argument. I was looking at a walking pad, I was mentioning this yesterday, that I was looking at walking pads. So I found one on a website last night, and I think I'm going to buy it. I just need to decide which one I want. I probably won't be buying it this week anyway, uh, I get paid next week. And it's just to keep some savings in my account. Um, that's girl math. That is girl math. I have enough money in my bank account to pay for something. But, rather than buy it now, I'll buy it in a week. Even though it's not going to make a difference. If I bought it right now and I got paid on Wednesday of next week, it wouldn't make a difference. I'd still end up with the same amount of money at the end of the day. But girl math is that it's future money, so therefore it's not costing me as much. I haven't hung these pictures yet. I have the command strips on the back of them ready to go. Look at that lovely mark on my wall where my chair hit. And then I put them up here somewhere. Um, kind of high, not too high, not so that I'm craning to look at them, but just high enough, kind of eye level. I am just logging into work. I still have about five minutes until I actually have to go into ready. Um, so I can always log in five minutes early. So I'm just getting everything set up. What I hate is when you shut down your computer and then things are in the wrong order on the screen. Um, and that happens every so often. Like, so for example, I love having my Word documents on this monitor. I don't know why, it's just the way I have it. 
and then I log in sometimes and my Word document is after being moved to this monitor. And I know it's only a tiny thing to move it over from one side to the other, but it still really, really annoys me when I have to do it. I had a sticky note on my screen when I sat down. It says toilet door draft. And the toilet door draft is on my sticky note because it's a reminder that I need to get a thing, a brush draft thing, excluder, to put on the bottom of that door. But I'm thinking I'll also get one for the door in the attic just to make the place a little cozier because a lot of cold does come in under that door. Um, so it at least keeps the bedroom nice and warm. I'm almost finished my break, but I got my posters up. I think they look great. Um, they were actually kind of difficult to put up. So dad helped me. He got a strip of timber and we measured the timber to make sure it was level and then used that to make sure that they were the same height because the piece of timber was like a meter stick. Then stuck them on, that was grand. Left them for about, I don't know how long, left them for well over an hour. I just stuck them up now and the biggest problem was actually getting them stuck on, probably because they're high, just the leverage it takes to actually get the Velcro to stick together. I'm finished work. I need to edit this vlog actually, so I think I will do that now. I'll plug my laptop maybe into one of my monitors so I have a bit more screen space. And it's just gone 10. It's so windy today. It's insane. Um, like there was an orange weather warning for most of the day for both rain and wind. And it's still so windy out. You can just hear it, like there's things moving out the back and my friend sent me a picture um, down in Wexford. Her table blew over and there was glass everywhere. And... I decided to today use my eucalyptus candle. Um, oh, that's hot. This is it, it's from Penny's. Um, it smells really good in here. I've had it on since about seven-ish and it's now just gone 10 and the wick is completely visible because it's melted. So I think what I might do is before I let it completely solidify, I might just take the wick out. I got the wick out. So what I did was I didn't want to use my normal tweezers but i have this one here see it's slanted what this is is a tweezers from those diamond that's what they call them diamond picture sets that you see where you get the little like gems and you stick them down in a pattern and they make a picture it's not a it's not a beauty tweezers for my eyebrows or something so i just said i'd use it it now smells like eucalyptus that's interesting so anyway I just turned off the lamp because it's been on for over three hours and I'm going to let it cool down and it'll be interesting to see what shape, does it just go completely solid on top, flat, or does it dip in the middle where the wick used to be or does it just, does it dry strangely with no wick. My last vlog is now rendering so I will get that uploaded and then I'll schedule it for tomorrow morning. My candle wax has completely solidified. The candle jar is still a little bit warm, but uh, yeah, it's completely solidified. And it has a slight concave in it, but not much. So I don't even know if I can call it a candle anymore if it doesn't have a wick, but it still smells good. And that's the main thing. My last vlog is edited and I'm just sitting here waiting for it. Ah, it's like the computer knew. I was waiting for it to finish rendering. So now I'm going to upload it. I didn't realise today was uh, Google's 25th anniversary. The Google thingy was cool today because it was all, it was the old fashioned logo mixed with the new logos. So it went from the very first one all the way through. Hi everybody. It is Thursday and I'll tell you this much, nothing ruins a Friday more than realising it's Thursday. I made myself some coffee in my I'd rather be in bed mug and I'm going to have Oh, whisper with it. I feel like, I feel like a whisper. I am loving these pictures. In the light of day, they look amazing. How great do they look? The rest of the room is a bit of a mess. Um, I had the 
the vacuum cleaner on so I decided to just kind of get everything off the floor but the room is lovely and clean just need to tidy it now it's back to being neat I uh, just put some cleaner in the toilet and I'll leave that to sit for a while and uh, I also tidied up here I thought it might not look like it I'm quite happy it was the first time I vacuumed the whole area since I got my new desk and I wasn't in the room so I'm happy it didn't knock the door I was afraid it was going to hit the door and close it and then that area would be uncleaned but that didn't happen so I'm happy hmm I wonder where Eilie is gone Eilie where are you no idea not a clue suppose I better just get ready for work so it's almost 10 to 2 so I'm just logging into my work computer my room smells so strongly of pine because the carpet cleaner I used in my toilet today is mountain fresh which basically means it smells like pine um, which is fine I don't use it that often I try and use the other one I got because it's nicer it's palm paradise or paradise palm and it's just more floral it's like hibiscus um, so I use that one a bit more but the mountain fresh one is older so I'm trying to use it up um, I actually it's not too bad but it's just very strong um, being that my toilet is like behind that door and I'm here it's very strong just all the time I found my mug cozy so I put it on my mug to keep it warm and Eilie has gone under the blanket again she literally came out and has gone back under are you afraid of the camera I'm just on my first break from work and uh, yeah, Eilie decided to come out from under the blanket or under the quilt I should say to sit on the blanket I want to cry so uh, some of the footage obviously is here from today but uh, when I was on my lunch break I can't remember what I did but I was like I'm on my lunch break now woohoo woohoo and the reason I did it is because I had had my camera and I literally had transferred all the files that I had on the camera up until that point onto my little hard drive and then I was plugging the hard drive into my Surface Pro they're all there they're all fine don't worry about it but that footage of me saying something about my dinner footage of me after my dinner at around quarter to Seven ish talking about how dark it was and oh my goodness I couldn't believe how dark it was it was gone and then I went on my break at quarter past eight and this is what it's like I'm on my last break from work and I just had a shower and whew, Alexa how long do I have left Alexa how long do I have left the Alexa was going to finish by saying one minute and 30 seconds but the clip just cut it just cut and the same thing happened the files that I have after that are cut it's really weird then when I was finished work I downloaded Premiere Pro onto my Surface Pro I have a seven day free trial of the Adobe Creative Cloud I went on a little rant about the price of that and then spoke about how I have to transfer files from my camera to my hard drive to use them on the Surface Pro because it has no SD card. So what I mean is that I have to put the SD card into this older laptop because that has an SD card slot. And that file is also missing. Okay, I transferred over all the files so far and it seems to be working. I was going to say that the price of the Adobe Creative Cloud is extortionate. If you want to get the Creative Cloud, which is basically the Adobe Creative Suite, in 2013 they renamed it and went from it being something that you bought as a one-off payment and got everything, to something you had to pay for monthly or on a subscription. If you go for an annual plan, paid monthly, it's 64 If you go for an annual plan, prepaid, it's 737 
And if you go for a monthly plan, not prepaid, cancel at any time, it's 9606. For Premier Pro, you can go for 24.59 a month on the yearly plan or 294 a year or 36.89 on a rolling contract. Also, after my seven day trial, I am not keeping creative suite. I'm, I don't have that kind of money to be spending uh, unless, you know, I win the lottery or my channel suddenly blows up and I start getting thousands and thousands of views and like hundreds of thousands of views and start making lots of money. But that ain't happening. I cannot see that happening, not anytime soon. I better finish editing this vlog. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe share it, subscribe if you wanna see more of my face. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, um, or you want to see my Amazon storefront, the details are in my link tree in the doobly-doo down below. You can also find the username for my socials at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and TTFN.